please join me as I welcome on stage Uburu Health. Hi. Okay, can we go ahead? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Joao, and the past two days I've spent time caring for a friend of mine who was in painful sickle cell crisis. And at that point, it was accentuated the value of pharmaceuticals. Nobody here can deny at some point in time we have taking a pharmaceutical product. But then how do we make sure that big pharma and medical AI companies continue creating value for us? That infrastructure is what we are building at uberu.ai. But the problem is the data that they need to continuously creating value for us is stored in many databases and it's largely unstructured. And the way we are trying to approach a solution is an API infrastructure that connects into these diverse databases in a privacy-preserving manner to pull information that can be used to generate insights that creates value for you and I. Our business model is largely B2B, and we take a 30% commission on the value of each data set that is generated through the API. The third-party data monetization market is projected to be $709 billion by 2025. And if 5% of that activity were to occur in Africa, that is a $35 billion market. And if we can capitalize on our first mover advantage, that presents a $21 billion opportunity if we can get 60% share of the market. We have built the minimum viable product and have gotten the necessary privacy compliance documentation. We have been able to aggregate access to over 200 million records in three African countries. We have a wait list worth 189 million Naira in AI dataset request. And then we have also set up providing data analytics for big pharma brands. Who are they? You guessed right. Rush and Pfizer. Our customers are whales. Our team is comprised of medical expertise, cybersecurity, data engineering, and compliance. It's evidence of compliance, a partnership with the Federal Ministry of Health to accelerate data and R&D in Nigeria. And our advisors are credible in terms of their influence in the health and business landscape in Africa. We're currently trying to raise a million dollar seed round to make sure that value. <clears throat> the judges may feel free now to ask their questions. Hi, um, just quickly, could you explain how you capture this data? and how you aggregate this data, and what kind of data you were actually talking about here. So, we connect our APIs into the databases of businesses like Farm Forum, EMRs, lab management systems, and these are a couple other types of databases. So based on the requests in the system, the data is pulled from these databases and then analyzed. Sorry, just explain, how is this useful to Big Pharma? So, they can't engage with these databases individually. So we provide a single access point to all the data that they need to do the analytics. Do you do a rev share with the hospitals or wherever you're pulling the data from, or do you pay them for it? What happens? So we perpetually revenue share with the primary data source, and then we charge the Big Pharma for the data. And I guess it's all anonymized and whatnot. Completely. 
So the output is what? Is a report? The output is either a visualization or an environment to train a medical AI algorithm. So after top, after top um, six big pharma become your, your client, then what are you going to do? So I didn't get the question. Um, after the uh, top six uh, big pharma become your client, then what's, the, what's your next business plan? So they do a lot of analytics, right? So we provide analytics based on the demand that they generate. Right, so one of them could have a hundred products that they're trying to understand. I mean, we think six is a lot, but six would be sufficient to float the business. Thank you, Buru Health. Thank you so much.